In my last opening, we looked at the Rui Lopez, but this time I want to suggest an opening for black against e4. I landed on a variation of the Sicilian called the Khan, uh, because it had an unusually high win rate at the under 2000 level. It's very straightforward and easy to play, and it's laced with traps. So after e4, the Sicilian starts with c5, preventing 2d4. So white will play knight f3 first, preparing d4. And here black has a few options, so it's hard for white to study up. To get to the Khan, black must play e6. And after white plays d4, we always take this pawn so that white doesn't have full central control. So c takes d4. And after knight takes d4, we reach this typical open Sicilian position where white has managed to win the center, but black has more potential to take over the game with the two latent central pawns. Uh, black has managed to trade their c pawn for white's central d pawn. Uh, this is where the Khan really begins, though, with the move a6. Uh, now, overwhelmingly, at 65%, white plays the very typical move, knight c3. However, this isn't what masters usually prefer. Usually, that knight only comes out to defend the e-pawn uh, once black has played knight f6. So instead, the two top master moves are bishop d3, where I would recommend the following line, bishop c5. This is called the Pologevsky variation. After knight b3, bishop a7, it's tucked away with a great scope on the king side. After castles, knight e7, black has a fairly easy game. The other popular master move is c4. This is called the Maroxy bind. And here I would recommend knight f6. And only now does white play knight c3, uh, defending the pawn without blocking their own c pawn. Uh, bishop b4. Uh, just gets a piece out, prepares the castle, and threatens to take the e-pawn. I mean, this is why this opening is uh, so easy to play and so straightforward. Anyway, back to the pop most popular move on Lee Chess, knight c3. Here, I'm going to recommend queen c7. Now, this is a very important move to remember, and this pressure against the knight will be very important in a moment. If you immediately play bishop b4... Your intentions are too obvious, and white will be able to defend in time after queen d3, queen c7 just isn't as powerful. So queen c7 is a very strong move, and here by far the most popular move is bishop e3. This just makes sense, getting ready to castle queenside. However, white is already starting to go wrong. Now bishop b4 is a very strong move, because white is going to struggle to defend it. Uh, the great thing about this position is it plays right into white's typical plan. They were already going to play queen d2 in castle, and now queen d2 moves with defense. However, white should actually play the bishop back to d2. But, okay, who's going to justify moving their bishop back and forth like that? So queen d2, by far the most popular move, and here we keep the pressure up. Knight f6 threatens to take that e4 pawn. And after the very natural f3, again, by far the most popular move, we have a very strong move here, d5. And here, there's a number of ways that white can go wrong. Let me show you a few. Uh, let's start with the most common move. e takes d5. Now we're going to take back with the knight to put lots of pressure on that knight on c3. White cannot afford to ignore it. If they just castle, we're going to take twice. Attacking the queen. And our position is much better. White has chronic dark squared weaknesses. And here the Lee Chess win rate is 90%. There's a number of ways to win, but I have faith in you from here. This is why after knight takes d5, white cannot afford to castle. They must defend the knight. But the position is still much better for black because of all the dark squared weaknesses. Here we can remove the main defender of those weaknesses. And after the queen takes back, we can just castle, play knight c6, and we have a very healthy position. Stockfish already announces minus two. Otherwise, after d5, the second most common move is an even worse blunder with bishop d3. This loses to e5, attacking the knight. And after knight f5, making a threat of their own, we just chop that off and get the fork here. Now, 
we're winning definitively with Stockfish announcing minus eight. In fact, the only move after d5 that doesn't lose immediately is e5. No one ever plays this because it just drops a pawn. And still, black is better, minus one. So as this opening offers easy development of the kingside pieces, it has many tricky traps with very little downside, I would recommend you give the Khan a go. Uh, if you want to learn more about it, I'll link some other content creators' videos in the description. And if you'd like to see more content, please subscribe, turn on your notifications, and comment whatever you'd want to see. Thank you.